Inspection work for the Mississippi River bridges in Wabasha and Winona has begun. These are a few of the more than 800 bridges that the Minnesota Department of Transportation will examine by this summer. Of course, MnDOT saying safety is number one here, and an important part of preventing any bridge-related risk is, of course, checking on aging infrastructure. Today is the last day of bridge inspections in Wabasha before the DOT moves on to Winona. Tonight, KTDC's Eric Min takes a closer look. These MnDOT engineers are on a mission. They're inspecting over 800 bridges this summer. To complete an annual maintenance routine. It just kind of helps give them a status check and also make sure that everything's safe. According to MnDOT, a total of more than 1,100 structures and bridges will be inspected by October. To complete this task, spokesperson Michael Doherty says Southeast Minnesota has the best bridge inspectors in the state. It can turn into some long days to get across the, the bridge and make sure everything's looked at, but in the end they know they're, they're making sure that it's safe for everybody to travel across. You know, you can see all the traffic here, whether it's trucks, people with boats, people going to work. To get the best view of what's underneath bridges, workers use a snooper truck. For them to check the bridge's wear and tear, Doherty says the public's cooperation is needed for everyone's safety. Obviously the workers, they're in a vulnerable position doing, doing the inspection, so they really rely on motorists staying attentive, keeping us safe. Doherty suggests drivers treat work zones just like snowstorms as they change driving conditions. In Wabasha, Eric Min, KDDC News. MnDOT says the Highway 43 Winona bridge inspection will start next Monday. That project will continue through June 18th. The DOT suggests anyone planning a trip in this area should look ahead by checking 511 Minnesota to see if there are any construction work-related projects that might impact the trip. You can learn more about this on the web version of the story at KTDC.com.